<clears throat> like, subscribe, and share. <clears throat> and most importantly, hit that bell notification to help you sidestep an audible. <laughs> the criminal gangster cartel that have fleece heisted and shisted the retail trader. And I'm here to give you the latest breaking news, coin updates to sidestep an audible and fleece heist and shist. The fleece heisters and shisters, the rock's eyebrow. Peace and love and push us through that YouTube algorithm. Chanzo's Go Crypto Investing, and we're going to get right into this update. Been very busy at work preparing for a shutdown this weekend. That's why the updates have been fewer and farther between, but we're going to try to get on breaks and lunches during the shutdown and give you some good updates during the day. XRP is about to close its best month in 2022, September 28th, with only two days remaining in September. XRP records records its best month so far however the bearish trend reversal has not yet been confirmed in technical analysis last week xrp reached and was rejected to its critical level of 56 cents coinciding with vincenzo's gold crypto investings uh 50 cent to 68 cent major upper resistance box uh in the weekly time frame this resistance is combined of the ascending line in yellow and red horizontal resistance uh unless breaking down below 40 cents it's likely to see xrp performing another retest of the 56 cents level as mentioned on vincenzo's gold crypto investing uh coming off the 37 cent major underneath support uh and maybe getting the buyers being there like they've been where there was resistance for a couple of months the relative strength index back above sentiment the rsi indicates that the market conditions to see increased selling pressure as the rsi indicator is below 50 breaking above the descending line right so that's what's going on here weekly moving averages uh we vincenzo's gold crypto investing has already went over that suppose that xrp price against bitcoin experiences a brief pullback to the support at the uh whatever that is in green a retest of 2900 sats is likely all oh, the sats 2000 sats uh, alternately breaking 2900 sats will resume the recent bullish momentum the target for such a move might be around 400 sats right so it's comparing xrp to a satoshi so that's very interesting there but if we go ahead and get into the price action the price the fucking price action right you can see what we got going on here and this is what vincenzo's gold crypto investing was mentioning we have this blue resistance box that we've been rejected initially up here over the weekend and you can see if we zoom in in the four hour time frame we came through the 150 day in red and bounced beautifully you perfectly just look at that perfectly on the 100 day in blue and now we're getting a bounce up to our upper resistance which is the 50 day in red that's starting to level out and what you would watch here is this is either a going to get rejected here and come back down to the 200 or possibly the 37 cent blue line right here or it's going to get over top of this briefly hold it as support and then skyrocket to a at least bare minimum double top up near this 50 to 52 53 cent major upper resistance and that's why Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing has been watching for a double top here, either bouncing off the 200-day moving average or the 37 cents. And then if it got rejected up here, right, say it came and did something like that and then had a power pump, got rejected, that's when you'd have to watch for a major flush below the 37 cents. And or if this does get rejected and come down, it gets rejected by the 37 cents and then it breaks through, trades on down towards that 32 cent to 29 cent major red volume indicator support box right there which is a major support zone because if you break that as you do know repeatedly we've been talking to you about this you would come down to our end of the year target of 18 to 20 cents and that's what i'm watching out for right now but on the contrary if you can break back above at any given time without breaking this 37 cents and you can breach this 50 cents again and sneak past this old high 
you can make a run up here to 68 cents, which is where I think there would be a cascade of sellers waiting. And I think it would be something like Ethereum did if it ever did get up here in the short term time frame. It would just immediately sell off, come back down, and then start to trade down. But this does have a chance still of being hit. And we have to watch to see what happens through the next several days to maybe a week's time frame as this consolidation continues before it makes its move for the next major leg uh, in this market, right? And you can see if we look at Luna Classic, it's still consolidating just below the neckline that was Luna Classic. That when it looked like we had a little left shoulder ahead and then a right shoulder when we were right there with our slanted or vertical or horizontal neckline. You can see we flushed it here after getting supported on the 200, came back up to the 50, got rejected, and then got forced all the way down to the underneath blue fib circle. Then we had a power pump over the weekend, came all the way up to the neckline, and you can see we had the big wicks, right? And then each one was smaller and smaller and tighter and tighter, and then it ended up slipping it, and now we're consolidating with very little volume. But when this volume comes back, we're either gonna crash all the way back down to a local double bottom or the buyers are going to come in and it's going to force this up and try to bring you up near a double top up here right at 0 0.0002490 or you're going to get rejected and start to trade back down closer towards this 0 0013404 right so that's what we're looking at there the bitcoin price is still sitting in the same area that it's been since back here in august of 2022 on support and resistance every now and then you get a pump then it immediately sells back off again get a little pump immediately sells back off again get a little bit of a pump immediately sells back off again and you're still sitting there at this 19,184.82 major support resistance zone and right now you're trying to hold it as support but you keep getting rejected as you try to break out north of it and just can't sustain the momentum because if you get some momentum you could try to pump all the way up here to the 27,010.93 cents. But if you fail this area that you've been holding, you're going to come straight down to that 